weekend's almost here. I can feel it from Thursday. All my friends are getting wound up. Getting up some money, getting us a bottle, and getting my Bronco gas. Guy, give it up for Charlie Parr.
cheap muscatel, but a little taste of bourbon. Breakfast in bed, six million dollars can raise the dead. Me and the other elite, raising high class hell up on Sunday Street. Santa Claus. It pays to be discreet when you're talking to the king of Sunday Street. Not a dollar, not a nickel, not a penny, and my name. I'm the king of Tap City, and I'm out of the game. Nickel up a nickel down, another nickel gone. I ain't got another nickel to carry me on. If I ever get back on my feet, I move from Saturday alley up to Sunday street. Thank you, everyone. I'm uh, uh, honored to be back at Blue Ox again. Thank you all for being here. says Ed. I laughed, cause he's always broke. I said, Ed, you can't even afford to float. Oh, you can't afford to float now, Ed. Drifting away from the shore. Well, we got down there near the end, you know, where all the sailboats are tied up with a big mass all just a bobbing up and down in the air. Ed says, I could sail one of those. Hell, you don't even need a key. I said, Ed, it ain't that easy. Oh, Lord, it don't look that easy, Ed. Drifting away from the shore. But Ed said I had no experience in the matter. And he proceeded to untie a boat, you know. And then he just jumped right inside. Well, I followed him in. But I think it was a bad idea, because now we are drifting away from the dock. We're drifting away from the shore, Ed. Drifting away from the shore. pulls on the tiller and he grabs on some levers and he tells me to roll and I said Ed there ain't any paddles and someone on the dock is yelling at us and he sounds pretty mad and I begin to regret taking a walk with Ed oh I wish I stayed at home Ed now we're drifting away from the shore Let's beat it. And he jumped over the side. And he started swimming like a fool for the shoreline. But I can't swim. I'm 
never even learned how. Now I'm just sitting here in this stolen boat. Wonder what it's going to feel like to get shot. Oh, I bet that's going to hurt, Ed. Drifting away from the shore. Suddenly I'm surrounded by angry people yelling at me through bullhorns. And you know what? I didn't even know that the police had a boat. On the way back down to the dock, I saw Ed climbing onto the rocks and hauling an ass down the sidewalk. Don't ask me to go walking with you again, Ed. Drifting away from the shore. Oh, thank you. That's a true story. Yeah. People in Duluth are very particular about you don't touch a sailboat. Oh, man. It's a little damp out here, uh, <laughs> but that's okay. I think the first year I played, it just downpoured through my entire set, and we were all fine with that. I, I didn't want to get electrocuted, but every, everything else worked out really well. Uh, 
I was telling a couple of friends of mine back back here, uh, my son saved up his money, and he bought one of those virtual reality hats. Um, it's quite expensive, and he was uh, let me let me put it on, um, which I I was not sure I didn't have any experience with virtual reality, and he didn't he didn't give me any uh, warnings at all about what this was going to be like to to have this hat on my head. And I put it on my head and suddenly found myself in this large, large room. Um, it's fascinating. I was looking all around and, and I looked behind me and there was some kind of a, a alien running towards me. So I took off running because <laughs> I was scared and he hadn't told me not to run. And I did, I ran into a chair that existed in actual reality, but <laughs> I did not see in virtual reality. And I tripped over it and fell, and the hat came off my head and skidded across the floor. And he was upset and told me the alien only wanted to dance. <laughs> it it ne never said that at all. But I was pretty happy to have not broken my other shoulder. Okay, just a just fair warning for all you folks. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I signed a lease on a place out near the bus stop, you know, but then I never left home again. I got three TVs, I got a whole bunch of coffee pots There just ain't no reason for me to go outside no more When I ain't getting out of bed this morning oh, I ain't gonna throw anything away again Time will come, I'm gonna need all of that stuff And I ain't getting out of bed today I ain't getting out of bed today Well, if anybody stops by, you know, I'm going to cut out all of the lights and I'm going to hide in a can until they go away. Oh, I got five phones, but there ain't none of them hooked up and I wouldn't answer any one of them if they were. Oh, and I ain't getting out of bed this morning. I ain't going to throw anything away again. Time will come. I'm going to need all of that stuff and I ain't getting out of bed today. Played pizza boxes piled to the roof, newspapers in 1982. A broken toaster I found in the trash, picture frames with broken glass, family photos, people I don't know. I tried to plants that never grow. I just can't let it go. 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 You know there's a 72 dots, and that's part where the guest bed used to be. And that means that you're not gonna be spending the night. Well, the landlord's always coming around here. He looks a little bit confused. I think he just comes over trying to kick me out. I told him I ain't getting out of bed this morning. I ain't gonna throw anything away again. Well, time will come. I'm gonna need all of that stuff. And I ain't getting out of bed today. I ain't getting out of bed today. There's a radio in every room, you know. They're all tuned to the news. I keep myself very well informed. Yeah, but the county's coming by. They're gonna clean out all of my stuff, and they're gonna send me to live with a roommate out in Peaceful Valley. So I barricaded the door, and I blocked out all the windows, and I'm making me a blanket fold behind the fridge. Oh, I'm getting out of bed this morning. I ain't gonna throw anything away. Thank you, everyone, but I appreciate that.
Thanks very much. Uh. Super nice. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, Take a look at the big house, bigger than they really needed. He got the doolies on his pickup, and the dealer gave him a choice. Now he's lost his job on the build side, and he's struggling to feed his boys. And the red cedar grows, and the red cedar flows, and long after you're gone, It's outlasting you. It's outlasting you, Lord, Lord. Outlasting you.
His wife was his high school girl. And they never left this town. It booms and busts, and it heaves and rusts, but they can't bear to go. Now they couldn't go if they wanted to. There ain't no work anywhere anymore. And the red cedar grows, and the red cedar flows, and long after you're gone, it's our last new. I'll last in you, Lord, Lord. I'll last in you. She's been serving food down at Bud's, and he can't stand to see her working down there. Oh, all the desperate men sit and drink, stare a little too long at her legs. Well, he sits home with the kids at night, hiding the worry on his face. And the red sea that grows, and the red sea that flows, and long after you're gone, it's outlasting you, outlasting you, Lord, Lord, outlasting you. Well, the kids are getting bigger. But they can't play outside like it used to be. You know exactly what's lurking out there. Man, you can see it on the news every night. And the village that it takes to raise our kids is afraid to come outside. And the red sea to grow, and the red sea to flows, and long after you're gone, it's outlasting you. Outlasting you, Lord, 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 outlasting you. Tuesday afternoons are the hardest. You know time, it seems to stand still. They've piled up quite a few of them, 20 years worth of not quite three o'clock. And time moves as fast as it ever did. There ain't nothing you can do to slow it down. And the red sea to grows and the red sea to flows long after you're gone. Without lasting you, outlasting you, Lord. Outlast to you. Thank you, everyone. Appreciate that. I 
Santa, but I want some more. The barman got that call now. Tab's worth more by far. And I will leave her down at the bar. They say, ain't that the way it is? Job on a family farm, a time to hard and I can't roll. I ain't got nothing more than I owe the company store. And that road is looking good for sure, but ain't that the way it is? Well, I worked all summer, couldn't save a cent. I gave all of my money to the government, and I don't know quite how I got spent, but the bank is coming for my deed. Man, at the mill can't see. Won't you let me get my feet for free? Ain't that the way it is? Thank you, everyone. I appreciate it very much. Thank you so much. Man. Remember me if I forget Well, when I was a child We looked after our folks Remember me if I forget Is it too much to ask To repay what you owe Remember me if I forget Our grandparents told us We'd reap just what we sow Remember me if I forget you won't remember me if I forget. I worked for my living. I didn't follow my dream. Remember me if I forget. Remember me if I forget When I was young We looked after our folks Remember me if I forget Is it too much to ask To repay what you owe Remember me if I forget Grandparents told us we'd reap Just what we sow Remember me if I forget
Have I lived my whole life for it to come down to this? Remember me if I forget. My eyesight is sharp, but I don't know your face. Remember me if I forget. Remember me if I forget. Remember me. Thank you, everybody. Duncan and Brady. Now. 
When I go down that funeral road, there's going to be a big old band. And they're going to play all my favorite songs while they plant me in the sand. in a box under the ground. Oh, I ain't dead yet. Give me my flowers now. When I go down that funeral road, everybody is going to have nice things to say. They're going to say, ooh, he was a good egg, wasn't he? Even if they didn't really feel that way. Oh, my baby, you can tell me what you think right now. You can't look me in the eye when I'm locked in a box under the ground. friends are going to send some, you know, just to show each other how much they really care. Thank you, everybody. You guys are so nice. You're con consistently nice every year that I come here. This is the blues. This is the blues that Luther Huff recorded in the early 1950s. Mitch, how you doing? It's good to see you. Uh, Luther Huff is a hard artist to find, but has been recently re-released on a couple of compilations. He's worth looking up. He only recorded six songs. But. the 
bound to get better. We'll keep calling 1951. Things are bound to get better. We'll keep calling 1951. It sure ain't gonna do me like 1950 done. Not my year. 1950. Not my year. Blues and trauma. We said it all just called 1951 Blues. Uh, I'm going to do a, a, a small amount of uh, retuning here. There's a folk show. Uh, this portion of the folk show is characterized by retuning and sad songs. Uh, we'll get back to the bluegrass after this. Uh, I'm I'm your uh, uh, repetitive and slightly boring break from bluegrass music. Last year I was told that I have the stage presence of a wet rag. <laughs> I took that as a compliment. I was. <laughs> I was I was gonna start doing some like dancing around. I even put like a strap button on my on my on my guitar, but this guitar is too heavy to carry around when you're old and stuff. But <clears throat> so here here's a here's another sitting down song about sad old crap that no one wants to hear about. You see, all these old ladies coming in here to buy the cheap wine. They ain't no better, Lord, they ain't no better than these bums coming in here to buy the cheap wine. I'm leaning against the counter on a gloomy day. Snowfall, clear the sidewalks in the entryway for all the old folks. And the bombs and the hustlers and the rude kids. I can't stand inside any of them. I wish I could sell this place. I wish I could buy a boat and sail away. You see all these old ladies coming in here to buy the cheap wine. They ain't no better, Lord, no better than these bums coming in here to buy the same. I guess I ain't got it so bad. I can go home at night. Sometimes I quit drinking when I want to. There ain't nobody here to bother me. There ain't no one here to bother me. So I'll keep the store open past curfew some night so I don't have to go home.
Do you see all these old ladies coming in here to buy the cheap wine? They ain't no better, no better than these bums coming in here to buy the cheap wine. I never meant to do anything wrong or do any harm, you know. But I framed that kid. He wasn't so bright. He wasn't so bright. He was just drunk all the time. Anyway, they killed him, not me. I've got a business here to run. I've got property here. He had nothing, do you see? All these old ladies coming in here to buy the cheap wine. And they ain't no better, and they ain't no better than these bums coming in here to buy the cheap wine. And I'm better than all this, and that crazy derelict he can go to hell, I'm better than this. I make my own way. Sometimes I'd open the store an hour before daybreak and put all the labels facing out. I'm so tired of these labels, but I don't to say it, it's all cheap wine. See all these old ladies coming in here to buy the cheap wine. Lord, Lord, but they ain't no better now. They ain't no better than these poor bums coming in here to buy the cheap wine. I'm leaning against the counter on a gloomy day. Snow falls, clear the sidewalks in the entryway. Oh, thank you, everyone. Uh, thank you so much. I'm a, I got a I got a, a time enough for a couple more songs. I'm gonna do a couple of old things though uh, that I didn't write uh, that I like. And this this I think I played this a lot. I played this this morning in my bedroom before I left. It's by Lead Belly. Lead Belly recorded it. I don't know if you wrote it or not. <clears throat> I don't even know what it's about. It's probably about either killing people or doing other things with them that the children don't need to know about yet. Well, that doesn't make any sense. They should know about that before they know about killing them. All right, I don't know what it's about. It's about good, wholesome things. Everyone's happy about these things. It's really creepy. <laughs> That's why I like it so much.
She was standing in the kitchen, standing in the kitchen with a morning on. She was standing in the kitchen with a morning on. Standing in the kitchen with a morning on. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. looking right at her I was looking right at her when the sun went down I was looking right at her when the sun went down I was looking right at her when the sun went down hey 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 I'm so grateful to be here this year. Thank you so much for listening and being here. I hope that they invite me back again next year. Um. Well, there ain't no grave gonna hold my body down. Ain't no grave gonna hold my body down. When you hear that trumpet sound. Put your foot on the land and see. Well, Gabriel, don't you blow that trumpet until you hear from me. There ain't no grave gonna hold my body down. Ain't no grave gonna hold my body down. When you hear a trumpet sound, you're gonna get up, pop the ground. Ain't no grave gonna hold my body down, come down to the river Jordan, put my knees down in the sand, well I'll holler, I hosanna, I'll make it to the promised land, there ain't no grave, gonna hold my body down, ain't no grave, gonna hold my body down, when you hear that trumpet sound, you're gonna get up out the ground, Ain't no grave gonna hold my body down. Well, meet me, Jesus, meet me. Meet me in the middle of the air. And if my wings should fail me, Lord, then meet me with another pair. There ain't no grave gonna hold my body down. Ain't no grave gonna hold my body down. When you hear that trumpet sound. Gonna get up, pot the ground, ain't no grave. Gonna hold my body down. Thank you so much. Happy Blue Ox, everybody. <laughs> 